Now, that's those who pledge allegiance to the peace between the Moors and the European nations in here and establish this government of amity and peace and to do commerce in this Moorish empire. Do you understand? What they did is overthrew it. Six and Chestnut, and they took the nationality and birth rights away from the Moors, and different Moors were in government. They told them, step down or die. Do you understand? And they instituted in 1779 the Negro and the black crap retroactively into the history uh, documents. They started burning documents. They started uh, hiding documents, transferring books into different areas of the countries and into secret societies. And they started making up new records. And in the new records, they started listing the Moors as blacks, Negroes, according to the territories. And they'd take the children and send the children to the Northeast Territory, they send them to the Southeast Territory. They take them from the Southeast Territory, send them to the Northwest Territory, and vice versa across the Nile River, which you call the Mississippi. Okay, so Todd just said a mouthful right there. First of all, let's start with the easy one. Uh, the Nile and the Mississippi are two different rivers. They are not the same river as Todd is apparently suggesting it here. The Nile is in Africa, and the Mississippi is in North America. Now, the second part is a little bit more complicated because here, Todd is arguing that in 1779, now keep in mind that he knows the exact date that this happened, the entire history of the world was rewritten to erase uh, evidence of the Moorish Empire, quote-unquote, uh, relabel uh, Moors as blacks and African Americans, and make uh, Europeans the, I guess, uh, ruling class in the United States. Now, there's several ways to dismiss this claim. Uh, first of all, Todd does not present any evidence that what he has said is true. Secondly, let's put this in context. Uh, we're talking about a monumental task here. We're talking about erasing hundreds of years of history and brainwashing tens of millions of people into forgetting that uh, there was recently a giant uh, transnational Moorish empire. Not only that, but what Taj is describing here is impossible to do. Uh, it was not only British people who colonized the New World. It was also Spanish, uh, the Portuguese, it was a Dutch, it was a whole bunch of countries from Europe which sent ships over to the New World. Uh, as an example, uh, Spain has a archive of all the documents that were produced during the exploration of the New World in the General Archive of the Indies in Sevilla, Spain. Now, those documents are written in Spanish. If what Todd just describing here was actually done, the United States would have had to send people to Spain to edit documents in Spanish to race mentions of the Moors and their pre-colonization empire, and also go to Portugal and do the same there, and also go to the Netherlands and do the same there. Simply put, this has not happened. Then Horace Greeley, who you saw, said, go west, young man. He was competing with uh, Abe Lincoln, etc. Uh, uh, um, he was uh, like a tycoon with newspapers in New York. And they went about, Noah Webster too, went about altering the history, rewriting the history. That's your real truth of your period of reconstruction. This is just made up. There really isn't anything that can be said about this. Those who know a lot of these fundamental keys uh, have an oath of death belong to secret societies. You notice that they'll wear our fez, too, in those secret societies. Now, this is a card that Taj plays all the time, and it's basically his get-out-of-jail-free card. Anytime he's asked to prove up any of his claims, he just says, oh, well, uh, it's secret. It's from a secret society. Which uh, begs the question, well, if it's secret, how does Taj know about it? And it, it's very convenient that it's secret, but only Taj knows about it. And by the way, anybody can do this. I can just say, well, I've, I've got a secret source that says that Taj is making this up. And, well, I can't tell you what it is. It's just secret, you know. That this basic, this basic information was not to be found out by you. Right. 
the commitment was that this general body of information would be hidden for at least 300 years, maybe a thousand. Again, if this information was supposed to stay secret for hundreds of years, how does Tantra know about it? This is the same technique that's used a lot of times by cult leaders. They, they present themselves as exposing ancient secrets, as uh, revealing ancient mysteries, and it, it mesmerizes the audiences, it, it bamboozles people. But it's, it's simply not true, it's just, uh, it's just a technique that these people use to get your money or get you to do things for them. Um, that, that accepted social concept, though not limited to, would be revealed to you in the William Lynch letter along the James River when they talked about uh, using the, uh, the mental warfares of turning the men against the women, the young against the old, distorting the family, but there's more to that. It also had to do with the psychology and the knowledge of how to distress the womb and how to make a slave by stressing the womb of the woman and controlling the womb then you control the nation. Here, Todd is referring to the Willie Lynch letter. Old problem, uh, that letter is a hoax, a fake, and a forgery. I'm just going to link to two university articles that uh, explain why it's a forgery. Um, anybody can go online and you know check for themselves. Uh, the explanation of why it's fake is uh, at, above my pay grade problem it is that they cannot deport us from anywhere no matter what the negative what negatives come about due to the social corruption here they cannot deport us so they have to continue to build build jails do you understand no the reason why you cannot deport African Americans is because African Americans are citizens of the United States you cannot deport a citizen from their own country you can only deport a foreigner back to their home country but the fundamental bottom line knowledge is more bite, Moorish history and culture in this land. This is more pseudo history here. Uh, Moab is in the Middle East, it's not in North America. And the Moabites were a group of people that lived uh, 1300 years before Christ over there in the Middle East. Uh, they were not native to the, to the North America. Not somewhere else. And Africa is not a Kibalon there. Northwest Africa and Southwest Africa is North America, Central America, South America. This is just an insane statement by Taj, which makes me question why anybody takes him seriously. No, North America and Africa are two separate continents separated by a huge ocean. They are not the same thing. The Amazon River is not over there. The Amazon River is in South Africa, right here in the West. I don't know what the f that means. The Amazon River is in South America, period. It's not in Africa. And so uh, one of the uh, uh, deals with the Inquisitionists, when they uh, uh, merged their kingdoms and defeated the Moors and started conquering the West, is uh, one of the, one of the uh, commitments of the white camellia, the clan, and the Knights of Columbus was to wipe us out of history. Now, this is a contradiction that needs to be discussed. According to Taj's version of history, uh, Europeans defeated the Moors in North America and uh, since 1779 to current date are still colonists. And the Moors, or what normal people refer to as African Americans, are colonized. Well, guess what? If your empire was defeated, you no longer get to make the rules. If you are colonized, the colonizers make the rules. You do not get to say, as Taj is trying to do, that, okay, you guys won the war, but we're still going to make the rules and we don't want to pay taxes and we don't want to do anything. Meanwhile, there are issues of demographics. Currently, African Americans are a minority in the United States. They make up 12% of the population. 12% of the population cannot overthrow the other 88%. Meanwhile, if we look at the religious beliefs of African Americans, 99% of them do not identify as Moorish. Uh, the numbers of people who identify as Moors are less than 0.1% of the African American population. So although the people leaving comments on the video making racist comments seem to believe that their biggest problem is Europeans and white people, uh, they're 
actual real problem is that 99% of African Americans, or if they want to call them Moors, or people with dark skin, do not believe that they are Moors, because they are not stupid enough to fall for that. And I'm going to end this video by making a suggestion to the people who believe in what Taj teaches. Go look at the audience at a typical Taj Tariq Bay seminar or speech. It's going to be poor people, it's going to be uneducated people, uh, ex-convicts, that kind of thing. Because that is the type of audience that Taj targets. Ta Taj targets people that are in jail or have been in jail who have dropped out of high school, who don't have uh, college or university education, because those are the gullible people. Those are people that you can get money out of. Those are people that you can brainwash into believing this pseudo-historical version of history in which there was a secret multinational, multi-worldwide Moorish empire, which suddenly got erased and nobody noticed until 1930 when Noble Dura Ali started asking for money to, to convince everybody that they're Moors.